here and I want to show you a new uh, feature that we are labbing for um, KWRI and this has to do with the commission tab. So this is actually pretty exciting. So I have gone in, I've created um, an opportunity. Here's my opportunity. I have also gone in, given it a document, I've gone in and accepted an offer and that now opens up the commission tab. So you will see there's a couple new things that are here. You now have the capability to edit general information and edit agent information. Why is this important? Let me show you. So if you go to the edit general information, you can actually change the sales price here. Okay, you can come down and change the contract date. You cannot change the close date, just so you know that. Now this is also where if you need to um, change the total units, you can actually do that here. So I'm gonna hit save changes and you'll notice that that is automatically updating all of this information, okay? And it is actually showing that there's a remaining thousand dollars. So this down here is actually a really good uh, indicator as what is going on within this opportunity. Now, the first thing is telling me I'm missing information. This is a listing, and so I need to attach a listing. You can come right up here I'm going to attach this listing. So I've done that. We've removed one of the problems. It's also telling me that I have remaining commission that needs to be added somewhere. So I am going to come in here and I can edit my agent payment. And what that means is I can come in here, I can cut my units in half, you do have to do a zero, so it'll be 0 .05, sorry, 0 0.05. Okay, we're gonna leave it at one. That's one thing that they did have a glitch on, they're fixing. So we can actually see, I had $7,500 in here, but if I recalculate the commission, it's going to actually recalculate to the new sales price. Um, it is showing me the associate royalty, the company commission, and this is where I can now come down and add in any deductions that I need to add. So I can come here and hit add an item. I can do my deduction. And we can do EIN. Of course, we're going to do our nine numbers. Typically this will be the FMLS number and two zeros. This can be your FMLS fees, pay to FMLS, search for the address again. And your phone number. Okay, and I can hit add. Now you'll see I've actually added in an FMLS, and if this needed to be changed, I now have the opportunity to come in here and edit this, which is really nice, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save Changes. Now I can also come up here and add another agent. So maybe I have another agent that I am uh, working with or that I'm going to pay. I can hit Add Agent come up and select their name. Okay, I can come in here if I want to give them a unit or give them a half a unit. I don't think it's working for half a units yet. Yeah, so you'll have to actually we uh, are aware of that glitch and we're working on that, so we can just keep it at zero. You can give them um, whatever commission you're going to be sharing with them. And then also, if you need to take any 
um, deductions out of theirs if maybe they're going to pay FMLS also or you can also do a deduction if you're going to make a donation to Cares for Kids. Using the same nine numbers, you just will put a different description in here. Pay two. And searching for the property address. And phone number. And add. Then you can see, I'll save my changes. Now what you're going to see is you actually have your total commission, what's being paid to the office, what the royalty is, what the commission is, and then paying to the agents. So I did add in these other agents into here and showing that there's other deductions of $200. If I want to actually see what those deductions are, I can come and scan over here on the left and see this one is for an FMLS fee. I also have the ability to edit each agent. Okay, So unless they have capped, um, you will see that in real time also. Oh, so this is actually good because now we can see that there's an excess of $1,500 being paid out. So we can come in and actually edit what is being done. And now because we made that deduction to the original commission, it's balancing everything out. Of course, you still have your add your notes here and then you will also submit your commission here. This is really important to make sure you're submitting all of your commissions. Hope you found that helpful and please reach out to us if you know of any glitches or anything that's going wrong with it. Please remember this is in a labbing um, environment so we are looking to break it so we can fix it and make it even better. Hey, go out and make it an amazing day. Talk to you soon.